Organization systems and applications present many vulnerabilities that cybersecurity experts must address. But how do you determine which ones demand immediate action and which can be postponed? How can you balance business risk with the resources required for remediation and patching? And what's the best way to communicate your priorities to stakeholders and justify your decisions? Find out in this video. The key to successfully dealing with these challenges is vulnerability prioritization, which allows security teams to carefully assess and rank vulnerabilities based on their severity, business impact, and likelihood of exploit. Vulnerability prioritization is an important step in the vulnerability management workflow, setting the groundwork for the following phases. Its goal is to ensure that vulnerabilities that represent a high risk for the organization are addressed first, while lower risk vulnerabilities are fixed later. According to Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, a vulnerability can be exploited by threat actors on average within 15 days after it is discovered. Thus, it is critical to tackle the vulnerabilities as soon as possible for effective protection against cyber attacks. It's imperative to have well-defined guidelines on how to prioritize vulnerabilities. Without prioritization, companies risk wasting time and resources fixing low-risk vulnerabilities while high-risk ones remain unattended. Vulnerability prioritization helps businesses to reduce the exploitable attack surface and minimize the risk of data breaches, reputational damage, and service disruptions. Align your security strategy to your business goals, effectively allocate your security resources, build trust with remediation and service owners. Here's how you can prioritize vulnerabilities efficiently in four steps. Identify all potential vulnerabilities in your environment. We advise automating the process to make things even simpler. After identifying vulnerabilities, the next step is to classify and rank them accordingly. Here are three common methods. CVSS scores. The common vulnerability scoring system assigns vulnerabilities a score from 0 to 10 based on severity. While widely used by security teams to prioritize vulnerabilities, its limitation lies in only considering severity, not the broader risk to your setup. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency offers the known exploited vulnerabilities database, highlighting exploited vulnerabilities posing significant risks. It indicates which vulnerabilities organizations should urgently address. Business context-based prioritization. Every company has unique priorities, goals, and risk tolerance levels. Thus, probably the best prioritization method to consider is the one that aligns with your business's needs and objectives. It is still advisable to make use of the CVSS and the known exploited vulnerabilities database, but you can be more efficient in prioritizing vulnerabilities if you filter them considering your current environment. To make it easier, you can focus on identifying your organization's goals and risk tolerance, assessing the importance of your company's assets, incorporating contextual information, developing an appropriate risk-based vulnerability management program. Following evaluation and prioritization, it's vital to address vulnerabilities considering a risk and business context. Typically, there are two approaches. Remediation, this involves directly fixing vulnerabilities, often through patching or closing ports. It's the preferred method for most organizations. Mitigation, in case a vulnerability cannot be remediated right away, organizations can temporarily choose to mitigate the vulnerability by reducing its chances of being exploited until it can finally be fully fixed. Keep track of the vulnerabilities you patched or mitigated and follow their evolution in order to effectively manage the risks posed by vulnerabilities, organizations need to improve their efficiency and accuracy in identifying and fixing them. Because of this, a lot of companies frequently assess the performance of their vulnerability management program. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to Heimdall's YouTube channel. Until next time, stay informed and safe.